This item was added into Fortnite by accident and removed after just 30 minutes. Today we're taking a look at 15 things that Fortnite secretly removed, like the mythic goldfish. This was added at the beginning of chapter 2, and you could only get it by fishing, with it being a 1 in a million chance of you pulling it out of the water. It actually took players weeks to even find this fish, because it was so rare. And when they did, everyone started hunting for it. Dealing 200 damage if it hits a player, instantly taking them down. You could pick Pick it up, throw it, and continue to do so. There were no tents in the game back then, so when you found it, you only had one game to use it. But at the beginning of chapter three, it has been removed as no one has seen it since. Did you know back at the beginning of Fortnite, the default dance, which was actually called Dance Moves, would play three different tracks when you selected it? I actually never knew this, but the third track that it could play was removed from the game secretly in chapter one, season three, because it sounded too similar to a song by George Michael called Faith. It's funny, but the original default dance would sound so much different to how we all remember it. In chapter two, season two, a new addition called Shakedown was added into the game. This allowed you to shake down enemies to see where other NPC locations were on the map, or even shake down enemy players, if you're playing in duos, trios, or squads, to see where the rest of their teammates were. It was a fantastic feature, but did end up being really annoying. The keybind to shake someone down and reload your weapon were the exact same, so you'd end up shaking someone down in the middle of a gunfight when you just wanted to reload your gun. And although it was an awesome feature, just like the Mythic Goldfish, it's been removed since the beginning of Chapter 3, and I'm hoping an improved version of Shaking Down gets added in the future. Almost all players won't have even noticed this one, but Fortnite used to have police cars. Police cars were on the map way before cars were drivable in Fortnite, and they even had a chance of coming out of junk rifts. But as a response to the actions that happened in May 2020, Epic Games removed every single police car from Fortnite, even removing them from creative maps, meaning they can never and may never be found in Fortnite again. What if I told you it was an item that would turn all your weapons instantly into legendary and give you a free legendary scar? I know you like what you're hearing. Well, this is exactly what the Midas flopper did back in chapter two. If you were lucky enough to find one, and it was very hard to find one, not quite as rare as the mythic goldfish, but still very rare. When you pulled out the Midas flopper and used it, the Midas flopper itself would turn into a legendary scar and any other weapons you were holding would instantly be elevated to legendary rarity. It was introduced in chapter 2 season 4, but by the start of the following season 5, they removed the Midas flopper, meaning it was only in the game for 70 days. Hit the like button if you'd want both the Midas flopper and Mythic Goldfish to return to the game. At the beginning of chapter 2 season 2, a new item was added, but on the down low. This was a propane tank that could be found at various spots around the island. It was super good glitchy. You could pick it up and chuck it. If you shot it or pickaxed it, it would set on fire and then explode. At this point, there wasn't fire in the game, so it was kind of a useless item. But later on in chapter two, fire was added and these propane tanks could set off some serious damage. Except these things are no longer on the island. And like many other items at the beginning of chapter three, the propane tanks were removed and haven't been seen since. If there's one thing everyone loves about a new season, it's the battle pass. And at the beginning of chapter to one season six, everyone was excited to check out the spooky Fortnite battle pass. And there was one skin that was getting a lot of attention. The Calamity skin, an incredible battle pass skin, for some reason was added into the game with physics to a specific part of her body. A lot of people noticed this and it started to get spread around the internet like wildfire. Now I'm just saying there's no way this happens by accident Fortnite, but on the exact same day Epic Games turned around and said that this was highly embarrassing and removed moved it straight away. Now, to remember this item, you have to be a true OG. Back in November 2017, the directional jump pads were removed from Fortnite. There were two different versions of them, one of them being vertical and one of them sending you in a horizontal line that could be placed down but only took up a quarter of a building tile. Using traps back then was so clunky and awkward. There were electric wall traps you could place on the walls and ceilings as well. And before the first real season of Fortnite, even kicked off, these were taken out the game. As we all know though, it was reworked and improved as the incredible launch pad that was eventually added in in chapter 1 season 5. What if I told you there was also a mythic mushroom in Fortnite for just one season? It had a 1 in 10,000 spawn chance and could only be found in swampy or dark areas of the island where natural mushroom spawns could be found on the ground. It's not sure if these were added in by accident or not because they didn't quite work properly. Streamers started to get entire lobbies 
of them and their fans to jump into games over and over and over to eventually find this item. But if you were lucky enough to find it on the floor and gathered the item, it would instantly turn back into a normal mushroom, only giving you five shield. But if you consumed it directly off the ground, that beautiful golden mushroom would instantly give you 100 health and 100 shield, but it was removed the following season. I really want to see this thing come back to the game. You ever realize we're missing a certain animal on the Fortnite Island? We've got wolves, chickens, and boars still roaming around, but what about raptors? Introduced in Chapter 2, Season 8, the primal season made perfect sense to add these raptors in, and they were a little bit annoying when they started to attack you, don't get me wrong. Spawning randomly across the island, and before you were able to tame and ride animals, if these things focused their energy on you, they were going to start attacking. But at the beginning of Chapter 3, they also disappeared. We've not seen them on the island since. I'm hoping even more animals come to the island, but slightly friendlier ones than raptors. But with the removal of one animal, we got the introduction of another, and that was Clombo. Oh, we absolutely love Clombo. Added onto the island as a great maneuver ability. You could go on his back and get chucked up into the air to transport yourself around the island. You could feed him clomberries to suck up to gift you random weapons, but if you decided to attack him, he would not be happy. But as we all know, Fortnite decided to remove Clombo the following season. Fortnite have teased many potential potential returns of Clombo, including secret Clombo challenges where you could find them underground in snow, sand, and different areas of the map. And in-game files have even updated Clombo to allow him to dance. But with a skull Clombo now on the island and no word on Clombo for so long now, will he ever return? Hit that subscribe button. As soon as we know more about Clombo's return, you'll hear about it first on the channel. One of the most talked about weapons that has been used by the least amount of people has to be the Zapatron. This weapon was added into the game during a hotfix in the very early days of Fortnite Battle Royale. In the game for just 40 minutes, it used a special type of energy ammo and dealt 150 damage at any range if you hit the target, but you did need to charge up. Epic removed it, saying that it didn't fit the current style of weapons in Fortnite, but has recently been teased. Included within its own cell within the Imagined Orders base within the Imposters game mode and seen being held by Dr. Sloan as a golden and Zapatron in recent comics, I'm going to make a call right now, but this thing will return in chapter three and we'll finally get to use it. Now, what's rarer than a mythic mushroom? What about Bud the mushroom? This was added in the final day of chapter two, season two, a very rare spawn found within the woods of the map. You'd wake up this mushroom by dancing and feeding him a hundred wood and was actually the first friendly AI added onto the Fortnite map. He then follow you around, giving you health and shield for the next 10 minutes, but Fortnite never mention the addition, and the next day with the new season start, he was removed from the game. Weird thing is, he did actually return during chapter 2 season 8 for a very limited time, but you couldn't make him dance, you couldn't feed him anything, and he didn't follow you either and disappeared shortly from the island. Surely Bud the Mushroom's gotta return soon. Did you know you used to be able to vote for skins that would return to the item shop? This is called Community Choice added at the beginning of chapter 2. The very first vote featured three skins that hadn't been in the item shop for over 200 days. Whichever one got the most votes came back to the shop. Unreleased items were used in future community votes. The final community vote was on November the 25th, 2019. It has never been seen or talked about since. And finally, back in Chapter 1 Season 4, in what was meant to be the Jetpack content update, where Epic Games flicked a switch and the Jetpack would be added to the game, they accidentally added something called the Eye of the Storm Tracker. This was only in the game for 30 minutes and was found by only a handful of players during that time. When picked up and kept in your inventory, it would tell you where the next storm circles would be appearing in that game. Just 30 minutes later, it was swapped out for the correct jetpack item and was never talked about by Epic. Similar features were then seen in the future, like on the Storm Scout Sniper Rifle, which would show you future storms when you aim down sight, and as an ability to see future storm circles sold by NPCs. But a lot of things we've seen in this video will never return to the game. If you want to see the most hated updates in the history of Fortnite, click on screen now. I'm about to disappear, so I'll see you over there. Quickly click it. I'll see you in a second.